Welcome to GATS tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 12.2. So, we're given a Y-connected three-phase generator with an impedance of 0 0.4 plus G, that per phase, and it is connected to a Y-connected balance load of that impedance, and we also have a line impedance of that much per phase, and we're given them, this is a positive sequence, which is what we had in the previous question, which looks something like that. So we're given the value of one of the phase voltages, which is that. And we're asked to find the line voltages and the line currents. So let's do this quickly. So what I'm going to do now is going to actually help us to solve these two problems. So we're given VAN. And from that, we can find our VBN and VCN. So following the positive sequence, so told that it's actually a positive sequence. So given VAN, we subtract 120 degrees to find our VBN. So we have 30 over there, which means our VBN is going to be 120, negative 90 degrees, right? And from here, you actually subtract a further 120 degrees or you add 120 degrees from the VAN. So that is what I'm going to do. So VAN is 30. So we're going to add 120 degrees to that to actually find our VCN, which is situated over there. 120 degrees out of phase from the point VAN. So we're going to have 150 degrees for VCN. Now I have these two values. And the first part of the question is asking us to find the uh, line voltages and the line voltages are actually 30 degrees they lead their corresponding phase voltages by 30 degrees so whatever you have as your phase voltage you actually add 30 to that to find your corresponding line voltage so apart from that the value or the magnitude of our line voltages are square root of 3 multiplied by this magnitude so let's start this is part a finding our line voltages. So the line voltage VAB is going to be the square root of 3 multiplied by 120. And here, where we have the angle, this angle, you make sure that the angle of the line voltage leads this by 30 degrees. So we're going to add 30 degrees to 30, which, which is going to give us an angle of 60 degrees. And so this result over here, just basically punch that into your calculator is going to be 207, so 207.85 with an angle of 60 degrees. Now, this same amplitude is going to be the same for all the other line voltages. The difference is just going to be this, because they are also out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. So you can either use this one as reference and say the next one would probably be, so using the same setup, you just put uh, AB here and then BC here and then CA over there. So what you do is you just use the same thing. You can use this to use the same thing. You can just compute this from the actual angle of this, right? So you can add 30 degrees because the line voltage leads this by 30 degrees, which is going to give you an angle of negative 60 degrees. So that's the magnitude over there. But now with an angle, which is leading this one by 30, so it's going to be negative 60. Or you can analyze this as 60 subtract 120 using this sequence over here. So the line voltages have the same sequence as the phase voltages. So finally, we're going to find our VCA, the same magnitude. But now, using the sequence or using the reference of our line voltages, which we found before, so using the sequence, we know this value over here which has an angle of 30 vab has an angle of so vab has an angle of 60 and what can you do to actually find this value actually add 120 to that according to this sequence so you add 120 to find the vca so you can do that and you find a value of 180 degrees or you can actually use this vbc and subtract 120 degrees which is going to give you the same answer but in the negative form, if you look here, if you're supposed to move from this point to that point, you actually subtract 120 degrees, and that is going to give you that. Or you can come here and say that this 
has to be led by 30 degrees. So you're going to add 30 degrees to that to actually find your corresponding line voltage. And that is going to give you this positive 180 degrees. So that is the answer which you're going to leave for that. So here are all the line voltages. After finding the other phase voltages and noticing that the line voltages have to advance these or have to lead these by 30 degrees. So just add 30 degrees there, add 30 degrees, add 30 degrees, and compute the magnitude by multiplying the current magnitude of the phase voltage by the square root of 3, right? So after doing that, you basically have all your line voltages. So that's the first part of the question. So for the second part of the question, you have to use these formulas to find your line currents. So you use the phase voltages divided by your ZY, and your ZY is the total of all the impedances per phase, which you find. So you're going to add all of the impedances which I mentioned in the question, as you have a Y-Y connection, right? So you have a Y uh, source and you have a Y load. So you're going to add all of that up, and then that's going to amount to your ZY. Now, you basically, so I first found my VAN, VBN, and VCN. It wasn't asking the question, but I knew that it would actually help me in the next part of the question. So now that you have all those values, you can just substitute them into these formulas. And now you're going to just add the total impedance per phase. And for the first one, IA, you should get an IA of 3.75 with an angle of negative 8.66 degrees in amperes. For IB, you should get... 3.75 with an angle of negative 128.66 degrees. And for the last one, so as you can see, they also have the same magnitude, but they are removed from each other by 120 degrees. So from that to that, you actually subtract 120 degrees. And then from this to the next point, which is C, according to this sequence over here, you actually add 120 degrees. So basically adding 120 degrees to negative 8.66, you should get a positive of value 111. So 111.34 um, degrees. Or you can move from this point over here. If it's not required that your answer be between negative 180 and 180, you can actually subtract 120 degrees from this point because it corresponds also corresponds with that. So it's subtract 120 degrees to get a bigger value, which would be negative 243, right? 0.66. So you can either subtract from B or you can either add 120 degrees to A. So that is what I did. I added 120 degrees to A, and I got that positive value, or you can just subtract 120 degrees from that one to get a big value, which is in the 124, uh, 140 something range, right? So that is it for this question. I found the line voltages as well as the line currents. And that is how you basically do this question. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.